Hey guys, this is going to be an overview, quick overview of the break action hammer shot that I made. So, um, when I got into Nerf, when the hammer shot came out, it was pretty cool. And I think that everyone was pretty excited about it, but I saw that it had the potential to be something like Vash's pistol in Trigun. So I said to myself, well, can we make it have a hinge and break action? And I never did it. Till uh, pretty recently, I decided to just give it a go. So, um, obviously, there's a Destiny-inspired uh, paint job on this. The orange stripes are very Destiny-esque. Um, black, white, and orange. I wanted it to look somewhat like a toy and not like a real firearm because I'll be using this for our Nerf Wars here in Utah and they are often in parks we need orange tips orange triggers are a good idea too so I didn't want this to look too uh, milsim so I decided to go for something with more orange on it than not it's not a fluorescent orange on the stripe but that's okay I think I don't think I'm gonna get in trouble for this one so A quick rundown of the features, um, I mean obviously it breaks open and the cylinder is held in by magnets but so is the closing action. There's a hinge on the bottom here and I have two orange mod work cylinders that were donated to, my, to me by my friend Mike, um, which is actually what got me thinking about this because it, the hammer shot that he gave me here had the uh, blaster parts hammer on it which broke because of poor metal hardening, I guess, is what I understand it to be. So I really liked that I could fan the hammer on it, um, but that fe and that feature has actually remained. But um, so there's that. The cylinder actually comes out, so you can swap the cylinders. Since I have two, that actually works. Just goes on the little circular thing there, and you can actually pop the cylinder out too without taking it out but when the cylinder's in it just rear loads it only takes half darts it could have been made to take full darts but they're harder to load in the back like that um and so i went for the half darts there's also not a lot of clearance up here for the darts to rotate through again that could have been changed but i didn't want to um I did a plastic um, hand-built extended hammer. I used three screws in it, some epoxy putty, some plastic epoxy um, to give it the strength. And even then, there's still a crack in the epoxy putty where it just, ha when the force takes it down, so. Um, so I think that's most of the features of it. It's also got a small Picatinny rail on the bottom for flashlights. So this wouldn't be a great HVZ blaster. It uh, is really slow to reload. Even though, like with real firearms, the shells are really hard. They just drop right in. But on this, you have to force them in. So if you don't have a really, just the right dart, which I found should mostly be FVJs or Vowberries, um, it doesn't load easily. And that makes it so that it's just not the best for um, a game where you might have to reload fast or you'll be swarmed. It can shoot pretty fast if you fan the hammer, which, you know, you can do, but it's just not ideal. Um, other than that, I think that's all of the features. Um, um, so the to explain how I did it, the... Uh, so... I took, I did the standard drop cylinder mod, the, the magnets, and then I, using the bottom of the hammer shot that usually holds the cylinder on, I trimmed it down, and then I added a bunch of custom bodywork um, here, which is polycarbonate, and then the indent here, the indent here is some ABS pipe that I've been using for my shotgun mods. And then I just epoxied it, drilled some holes for the aesthetic, 
and then attached i i used a um long strike barrel for the the muzzle and a short one and so that's where the front of the top rail is and then there's the back of the top rail which is a hammer shot and so it's standard drop cylinder mod but put on a pivot so that the middle of the cylinder just goes onto the middle magnet which is on the uh, what is that ratchet or the rotating thing and that is a hexagonal piece that goes into this hexagonal piece and that's what creates the friction that rotates it the magnet just makes sure that it holds itself into the right spot and then i've got other magnets up here i've got i actually have eight magnets but there are two larger ones back here right above the plunger and then uh, six smaller ones that are stacked to give it more strength because that's what i had back in here so i think that's all for its features and a quick explanation of how I made it. Hopefully this isn't a terrible video and thanks for watching.